so pretty much done with Detroit again. Turn to Officer Nicholas. And then go back to my apartment building. Nameless gentleman moved in from manly features by the server. So, did you finish the do sex? No. Uh, were you still uh, on the early part of the game? No. Gotcha. I'm almost done with the game. I see Mariah is too prompt to actually complete it. Hey, boys. Are you on uh, Singapore? Yeah, near the end of the game. Okay, so Singapore is near the end. How many times have you been to Detroit? Just wondering. Twice. you helping us out Adam but we're running out I of absolutely time. didn't but um, we instead White we actually went on a nature trail up. at night something a lot cooler we're in the clear I left white unconscious in the it's sewers under the fun precinct. Doing that. I'm stuck here in a hurricane the chief finally took hurricane nameless gg we'll take hurricane that sounds perfect for a party yeah uh, ah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah party about. i threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive it's good to know you're still one of the good guys jensen by the way nikki White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper like jumping sweep out my clean. window and ah, waiting for shit. a bus to throw me over. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> do it. That doesn't I'll sound like a very good right idea. Away. Why would you do that? The last thing we need are more casualties. I've played too much StarCraft today, man. I can't fucking stop. You want to play some? Uh, yeah, I just started a ladder game, but I'll play it here. Oh, okay, that's cool. Jensen Swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Hello. Take care of yourself. I didn't think anybody was in here. I thought London was just still talking to himself. Come in, Central. Over. I'm talking about I just left. sex to anyone who listens, even if they don't talk back. I'm sure there's someone AFK in here. So, I mean, while they probably aren't listening, at least it's technically talking to someone. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, oh wait, no. Yipper isn't in here. Damn. Nah, he's in Vent, because he's doing his uh, ranked 3 through right now with someone. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he's talking about in chat. The problem with ranked is, uh, well, I don't know. We're like sitting there arguing over who's better in 3v3s, but he's played rank, and I've yet to play rank 3v3 because you have to party it. You can't do solo ranked. Ooh, oh, can, can't you do solo 5v5 though? Yeah. That's but you weird. can only do party ranked in uh, 3v3. That's silly. Fucking spider. Hurricane spider. He was saying Trend is like one of the top bands at uh his elo level in 3v3. Yeah. Oh wait, do they ban in raiding? They ban in ranked, yeah. You have a uh, oh. ban picks. Would... So gay. But uh, the thing is, with me as a uh, Mord, the reason I do so well, sometimes is because I fuck over my teammates and stuff take all the farm and kills, and just be a one-man army. And ranked, you're not supposed to do that. Your team will get pissed at you and bitch, and it gives you a bad reputation. Because you're not this supposed not to take kills in ranked. You're supposed to, you know, Out let your way. carries get them. Your tanks are supposed to get a assists and never die, shit like that. What's your pleasure? Like, man? none of the bullshit we do in, um, normals would fly in ranked. Yeah, I don't think I could ever play ranked. <laughs> I'm just 
just never really be that good. I'm gonna do it one day just for the sheer fuck of it, just to experience it. I mean, maybe if they had like an ultra sweet skin, I mean, not none of this victorious Jarvan bullshit. That, that, that's a horrible skin. He looks oh, like Tarek. Hey, at least it's not like, you know, the referral rewards where you get Twitch skins. <laughs> Didn't they destroy Twitch? Because I remember Twitch used to be good as fuck. They destroyed him a long time ago because, for the same reason why they destroyed Eve and Shaco. It's because people were too fucking stupid to oh, just buy an Oracle's it? Elixir. Lame. Yeah, dude, I had a game a while back. Dude, level 30s did not know how Oracle's Elixir worked. Wow, that's weird. That's just bad, man. Can you use the silencer How may I be of service? any gun besides the pistol? Um, not every gun, most though. You can't silence the revolver, or the heavy rifle, or the sniper rifle, I believe. Doesn't seem to work in a shotgun either, so I guess I'll just sell it. Well, pistol. you can put it on your combat rifle and your machine pistol. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think the machine pistol is actually an excellent weapon, friends. by the way. I could show Just... you a screenshot where I killed about seven or eight guys with only 20 bullets. So the key with the machine pistol is the silencer and I guess hogs, upgrades. Really any I... weapon with a silencer. Yeah. Wait, what nameless? Really any weapon with a silencer, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even AUG, I was too early in the game, but I I just think the machine pistol is a fucking amazing gun. I like how you can give your, give your weapons upgrades that essentially uh, make bu the bullets just curve into the enemy so you don't have to aim anymore. You can really give that, it's like a seeking mod or something? Yeah, it's, it turns your bullets into flechettes that some, for some reason uh, can can uh, guide themselves to a target. Smart bullet. I guess it makes about as much sense as the revolver getting an upgrade that makes everything fired out of it explosive, rather than it being an <laughs> Well, there are explosive rounds, but I don't think they're in the way that Deus Ex has been there. Yeah. I guess they just didn't want to do ammo types. I'm not going to sit there and debate the logic about it. it it's the uh, sort of near future that's not going to exist. Yeah, I think it's, I mean it's a video game. It's all right. You just got to get used to its logic, which is a bit different than Deus Ex's. That's all. Heat-seeking bullet. Yeah, why don't we have that in Deus Ex? No oh, fuck. They should have included the uh, a little joke called the incendiary the uh, the incendiary device, which turns into a heat-seeking bullet. Wait, what? Um, heat-seeking bullet. Yeah, they don't exist in the game, but I feel they should have added it in there as a joke. Well, they have heat-seeking rockets, so... Well, I'll see if we can try to find, find the uh, video I'm referencing here. Reminds me of that uh, video of that New York I senator who uh, wanted to ban um, tracer rounds because they can cook a deer <laughs> when you <laughs> shoot it. That's the one I was talking about. <laughs> It was hilarious. They had her on a, a news, like a local news, and the the news guy kind of grilled her, like, "You want to ban mu uh, barrel shrouds? Do you even know what that is? Uh, it's the thing that goes up." <laughs> He's like, "You don't know what it is, do you?" Because remember, um, it's completely um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's completely wrong for a, a shooter to, to uh, have, a, have a device attached to his, to his rifle that protects him from burning his hand on the barrel. Exactly. My favorite thing is, um, pistol grips let you shoot from the hip. No, they don't. That's Although they silly, say though. with, um, no problems, Mr. Jensen. pistol grip shotguns, you're supposed to actually hold it down and not, you know, fire it up. You have to keep it to your side and shoot it. I mean, I that's just, just a safety precaution. I mean, I just don't understand why, why the uh, why pistol grips were banned at one point. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Because they're a lot more easily concealed. Uh, no, no, actually, it's because they're scary. Yeah. There was a lot of things that were uh, banned during the assault weapons ban that were just completely bullshit. But you know, overly liberal government, knee jerk '90s, um, PC era, all that good shit. Wait, so pistol grips have been on banned? Yeah, they were banned oh. during the 90s, but um, 
the assault Check weapons ban, um, you ready to return to HQ? it expired in 2004. Yeah. Uh, how about, is that still thing or no? What's that? Sawn off shotguns? Um, I think are still that, legal. Actually, um, that really depends on your local state laws. And they can't exceed federal laws, because federal laws are basically a minimum. State laws can go above them. But it depends on your state, and it also depends on the length of the barrel. Like, barrel shorter than 16 inches. I just see what the Virginia law is on it, but at the same time, practicality-wise, I don't see the, see a sign-off sign shotgun being any, any more practical than any uh, normal shotgun. At least on the aspect. It's, it's always a video game and movie thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to conceal it, if anything else. I mean, I'd like to see someone actually try to fire a sign-off shotgun one-handed. I can't. And it can be I'm okay. I'm told you're going to have a broken wrist and a really fun visit to the hospital. That's like firing dual 44s. 44 is not as dangerous as you might think now. Nah, not, not when you attempt. I, I couldn't say that I could fire safely a 44 in my left hey, hand. I, I could in my right. Jensen. With one hand, but not he my says he's not in the office. Well, it would depend on what you're shooting Somebody out of. Uh, a revolver would be do. easy. I don't for know. You. He said you should no, check in man. With the boss. A revolver would be hardest. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, the way the revolver works is um, it's much easier to shoot a large, large round of, out of a revolver than it is out of a semi automatic. Are you telling me a Deagle 44 would be harder to fire? Yes. Mr. Jensen, did you hear? Really? The cops yes. picked up that Sandoval bastard. It's the action the from the slide. That chambers the next round the that gives a semi-automatic pistol more recoil because you have that large bit of weight that's slamming back towards you. Whereas a revolver, it's just the, the chamber, the, the cylinder that revolves, and there's an area for the gases from the round to escape. Whereas in a semi-automatic, those gases expand backwards, pushing the chamber, pushing the uh, slide back, slamming the gun into the into the palm of your hand. Huh. Damn mm -hmm. and I never really thought of it. I mean, that totally that? makes sense. I he never just really this. thought about that he word. Got up on his That's right. You see, semi automatic pistols work semi automatic and chamber the next round automatically and by damn. using recoil. Detroit is the worst thing that could happen with the so they have a bit more. That's also been generally the reason why semi automatic or semi automatic or automatic weapons in general are generally less accurate than uh, bolt action weapons. Maybe we're hurt. Well, that really de that, that actually depends more on the uh, gun itself. Um, you see, what a uh, semi automatic rifle, the tighter the tolerance is, the more accurate it is, but also the less reliable. The looser the tolerance is, like, say, on an AK variant, it's less accurate to a degree. But also more reliable because the action can't get gummed up as easily. At the same time, I also realize what the way what, the way I worded it is kind of like the whole entire um, automatic versus or uh, automatic transmission versus manual transmission argument at this point. I mean, they've gotten a lot better to the point where I think there's at least one semi-automatic sniper rifle like that is just about as accurate as the uh, bolt action rifle. Well, I think the uh, thing about bolt-action rifles is you can chamber a more powerful round in it without um, something to do with sealing it. Uh, it could just be preferences too, personal preferences. On the other hand, I just found the uh, the laws for in Virginia for a for a shotgun. We could use.